So, oh, I shut off this. All right, so I'm gonna try and get back on track here for recording videos. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install, like, uh, get your microsquirt wired up for uh, um, launch control and some uh, no lift shift. So what I first did was I took my giant loom here and I dug out the spare ADC. That's what I'm gonna be using. And uh, so basically I'm gonna run a spare ADC down to uh, a switch down on the clutch. Let me flip the camera around. All right, so down here on the clutch, we got this one. So when you step on it, it lets go. I'm gonna have to check it but that should mean that it's breaking contact or when you hopefully it's like when you step on the brake one when you step on it it releases the button and then it makes contact so it's completing the circuit when you step on the pedal it completes the circuit aka letting microsquirt know that it can do its two step the launch control or no lift shift so let's uh we're gonna test that. I'm gonna go find my test light, which is basically just like a, it's got an alligator clip, you clip on one side and then you touch it and then you step on it and as long as it makes contact or a circuit, it'll light up. So let's do that. All right, so now when you do it, it's lighting up. So it's when it's in and then when you'd be stepping on the clutch, it would be like this. So it's kind of the opposite of what we need, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna go look. I think it's backwards. So it looks like I do need to find a uh, one that is like basically like the brake switch. So let's see if I can track one down. Fortunately, the only other one I found is also wrong. So that kind of sucks. I'm not sure if I can find another one. I'll have to continue looking here. All right, looks like I ain't got one. So what I'll do is I'm gonna run the line up to the front and then uh yeah so we'll run the um spare adc to the basically to where it needs to be and then when we get the clutch we or the the um i need a brake switch um because it basically operates under the same principle as these except it's backwards so when you step on the step on the pedal it completes the circuit and that's what i need so, we'll get that ran, and then we'll be good to go until I can get the thing. Yep, so right here, got that orange spare ADC, and we're just going to run it up there. So let's do that. All right, so let's ran from back there, up along with that, and we got it grouped up right there. So that's that. Um, pretty much going to have to call up the junkyard, because that's going to be the only quickest way I can get one. And then we'll be able to do it, so... But that's going to be it for right now. So see you in the next clip. Alright, so we got the new switch in. So if I put that on there. Maybe. Hold on. I got to figure out a better way. Alright, so you can see. Okay, I just stopped lighting up. Alright, now it's lit up. And so now the pre... So basically this will be pressed up against the clutch pedal and then when you step on the clutch pedal it releases this and then now it's lit so that means it's the uh, contacts have been you know completed so yeah now i'll get this installed and then we'll wire it up all right so first issue i found is this is this is a larger diameter than this so i'm going to cut this off drill it out and tap it hopefully for this and then hopefully it'll work. So let's give that a try. All right, that worked. <clears throat> Got a little scared because the first time I tried putting it on, it only went on halfway and then it wouldn't move at all. So basically what I had to do was uh, I didn't have the drill bit I needed. So, and it really didn't work out that well. So what I did was I took a bolt, I heated it up and then I slid it in. Um, and then it actually worked pretty well. And then once I got it close to the diameter, I just, pretty much heat the bolt up, like superheated the bolt then slid this down over it held it there so that it warmed all the plastic and then I just pretty much screwed it on and hopefully it'll be 
stuck on there. I'm pretty sure it is because it really was a hard to get on there. So, but now it'll be stuck on there, and this will just thread right into the the old one. Um, the only thing I might have to do is this thing, this button right here, isn't as long, so it might not reach. So there's like a little tab down there. I might be able to just bend it, or I could just weld like a piece of steel on there or something to extend it. So we'll figure something out. All right, maybe this will better explain what I'm talking about. So you can see right there. So when I step on the pedal, it releases. When you let go, it pushes it back in. Thus far, this is an open circuit. This is closed. So now uh, I've got one wire in already. I got to make one more. And that's pretty much just going to run from there. And I'll just ground it somewhere over here. So, because that's all you got to do is just ground it. So let's do that. For you. So if you got like these little guys and you're like me and you don't like using these nasty looking plastic insulators on them, if you use like a set of these crimpers here and you just crimp it a wee bit, you want to use like this section and then these will just slide right off. I can't do it because I can't do it one handed, but uh, yeah, oh, one second here. So yeah, just slides right off. But yeah, you don't need to do it. I probably did it a little too much. But you don't really need to do a lot, you just need enough to disturb this. And it usually sets right off. But, so in case you want uninsulated in it, because then I just use shrink tubing. So, but yeah, a little tip for you. Alright, made this little jumper, this goes onto the plug, and this just gets self-tapped down. So let's do that. Alright, so we got one that goes to the ground, which I've got self-tapped somewhere up in there. And so we got that one, and then we got the one that goes to the micro squirt <clears throat> so when we turn it on we'll just have to turn it on and tell it that uh it's gonna be i don't even remember what the fuck uh spare adc so spare adc will be the trigger wire for initiating launch control and no lift shift so and then you just got to do all the software in there which we'll go over in the next part of the clips won't be this day but it'll be in the next clip so that's that that's what we need in order to do two-step with micro squirt so that's that all right so when you're editing this realize that I didn't make this part so what we're gonna do is go into the boost under launch control and then so this will be setting off so you can do launch or flat launch and flat shift i haven't done fl uh, the flat shift yet so you just set this to launch and then you go into your input pin and that's that spare adc that i used so then you just set it to the spare adc so then you can set up your uh your launch so this is like your hard limit so basically it's going to be sitting at 3000 bouncing up and down at 3000 um, the soft limit is basically it'll drop down to 2,900, then it'll go back up to 3,000. So it does that. And then um, how much timing you want to pull, so like negative five. The more you pull, it kind of shoots some good flames. So, And then so basically you need to be stepping on the clutch, which is triggering the spare ADC. And then you need to basically floor it at least 70% to initiate it. Um, and then for the limiter method, we use spark cut. If you don't want to do fuel cut, that's not good. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that. And then, uh, so in the next couple clips right here, you'll get to see some two-step. So yeah, that's it. You know, Joe, like, comment, subscribe.